Yeah, I think the show begins with with my having a son and, uh, and later on a daughter and changing the way I look at the world and also the way I use photography. Looking down from the window, I guess, in your home uh, at the shadow that's cast by the rooftop of his home and then they've drawn a, a house in the, in the sand. Um, that's a very recent photograph, but that's a self-portrait. I don't know if you can see it. You all yeah. see the self-portrait? <laughs> so that's a ream of paper made to do my profile. You know, the, the barest materials to do the most with. That, I'm interested in that. So, yeah. how, do, how do I make something interesting out of it? Just a very simple uh, material. I would turn my classroom into a camera obscura to show students the principles of photography. So I did this for many years before I began to make pictures. Uh -huh. So it was in the back of my mind. So a camera obscura is basically the process of transforming any room into a camera. And you black out the, the window panes. Um, you poke a little hole in the blackout material. And um, an image of the outside world will project through that hole and you'll see an image of the outside world against the back interior wall of the room. So it's like a giant camera. Just when you think you've figured out how he's doing what he's doing, it's starting to sink in. Then he switches it on you, and all of a sudden it's right side up, and he's always a, one step ahead of us. One of the things that's really special about our presentation of the work um, is that we're showing a new body of work that was not shown in Chicago or Los Angeles. It's actually a brand new series um, that Abe worked on over the past year as part of our Picturing the South commissioning series. So he's the newest Picturing the South artist. One idea that I had was to bring uh, reproductions of art from Boston, with rolls of them, of paintings of art, and hang them in front of landscapes. So this is a reproduction of some a painting of trees. And voila, the real landscape is fighting the made-up one. It's just perfect. It just feels like, which is the real reality? 